All right, I think we are ready to get started. Hello and welcome to the Brookfield Residential Home Buying Webinar. My name is Aaron and I will be your moderator. Joining us today, we have Jill Wash and Matt Scalise, who will be walking you through your new home buying process. We encourage you to use the chat feature at the bottom of the screen to ask questions. We will be saving the second half of our webinar for a Q&A session. So without further ado, I'd like to present to you our speakers, Jill and Matt. Welcome, it's wonderful to meet you all. I'm Jill, Brookfield Residential's online sales specialist. I'm Matt Scalise, branch manager of BRP Home Mortgage. I have been in the mortgage industry for about 18 years and the preferred lender for Brookfield for 11. Welcome. Let's take a glance at the home buying process. Step one, locate your new home. The easiest and most convenient way to start shopping for a new home is online. You'll be able to view all the details about the home and community online and schedule an appointment to tour the home, see the community and meet with the sales team. Most of us will be financing a home purchase. In order to finance your home purchase, you do need to pre-qualify with a lender in order to receive a mortgage loan. After you sign your purchase agreement, the initial earnest money deposit opens escrow. The escrow company is the neutral third party um, to this purchase agreement transaction. The design studio is where magic happens almost like Disneyland. <clears throat> Once you <laughs> receive your pre-approval, you'll be able to um, know what home you are purchasing and enter the purchase agreement. You'll meet at the design studio in order to personalize any options and features for your new home that's under construction. Quick note, depending on the stage of construction of the home that you are buying, will uh, determine what options and upgrades are available to you. The magic begins as we start to construct your brand new home and you'll be provided with construction milestone updates along the way using your Brookfield residential app. You'll have two construction appointments, one of which will be a dusty shoe walk. This takes place when your home is framed and insulation is already installed. And the last construction meeting will be the new home orientation, which is a formal introduction to your new home. And this occurs about seven days before you close escrow and receive the keys to your new home. So you found your dream home, now what? Awesome. Your journey starts here and our expert team is with you every step of the way to guide you during your home ownership path. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Jill. So the whole lending process, it can be very intimidating, overwhelming, even scary at times. What we've listed below is our mortgage map, taking you by step through the purchase process, beginning with the pre-approval, taking all the way through closing and getting your keys. So the first step is starting the pre-approval process. This is gonna be your first chance you have to speak with a mortgage professional, to review your qualifications, breakdown of what a monthly payment would look like, as well as what the down payment requirements are. When completing that application, that would be that first step. While you are reviewing the pre-approval with your lender, they are gonna be taking you through some of the things to keep in mind when purchasing or going through the purchasing process. Some of the do's you wanna keep in mind, continue to pay your bills on time. If you do miss a payment, this could hurt or negatively impact your credit, which down the road could affect your interest rate. Keeping original documents. While going through the buying process, there is gonna be a lot of documentation needed from you, as well as getting a lot of documentation updated as we go through. Keeping pay stubs, bank statements on hand will eliminate any stress you may have while going through the process or when these items are being requested. Keeping your lender updated on any changes to your application. 
This could be a number of things like a job change. If you get married going through the process, all of these changes could have an impact to the qualification. So making sure you keep your lender updated is key. Some of the don'ts, don't make any large purchases. This could be uh, a large purchase on a credit card. It could be purchasing a car, co-signing for a relative. All of these could have negative impacts when qualifying. Making sure before you decide to do any of these, you let your lender or keep your lender updated. Moving money. All of your down payment will need to be sourced. So if you are transferring funds, depositing cash, liquidating stocks, before you do any of these, let your lender know so you guys could get a game plan on how that would look down the road. Close trade lines. So a lot of times buyers may be looking to paying off debt while going through the process. The last thing you would want to do is pay off the credit card and then trade the or close the trade line. That could have a negative impact to your credit and again, affect the interest rate. So while you and the lender are going through the pre-approval, your lender will need to verify your assets, whether you're using checking, savings, retirement accounts, uh, liquidating stocks, getting a gift, all assets would need to be documented as well as your income. If you're self-employed, W-2, you get commission income, bonus income, all income will need to be verified by your lender. Once you do complete that application and your lenders verify the income, they will also be confirming your mortgage or your file meets all mortgage guidelines. Once completed and verified, that is when your lender will be issuing a pre-approval to yourself and to the builder. So once the pre-approval has been issued and you've identified the community in which you're looking to purchase is when you would be entering into a purchase contract. At this point in time, that is when the builder will also require for you to supply a conditional approval. The conditional approval is required 30 days upon the time you sign that contract. What this would entail is your lender providing your application and documentation supply to the underwriting department for them to complete their review. The underwriter will be reviewing your file, making sure it fits guidelines and issuing a conditional approval over to the builder and yourself. So the reason why a conditional approval is needed is because it does give the builder the security you have the financing in place. What it also allows is the builder to proceed with the construction of your home based upon any of the options or upgrades you've selected at our design center. During this time, there could be a lull from interactions with your lender. However, your lender will continue to keep you updated throughout the process. So once the builder has confirmed a close date, generally, which is about 60 days prior to closing, is, where, is when we're going to be ordering your appraisal. The appraisal is going to be required because it will uh, confirm the value of the home based upon the purchase price of the home. This is also when the builder will be setting up your new home orientation date. So once we have that home orientation date set and we receive your appraisal back is when your lender is going to be updating your file based upon the pay stubs, updated bank statements, and we'll be submitting your file for our final loan approval. This is going to be the last step prior to closing. This is also when we're going to be supplying your confirmed cash to close and reviewing the breakdown of your monthly payment. Once we receive your final approval, we will then be sending our loan documents to the title company so you can prepare to sign with the notary. Once you've signed with the notary, that is when we would be closing your mortgage and you will become a homeowner. We've put some questions together. Uh, what buyers have, or the questions the buyers have, what happens after closing? Some of these questions are, when do I get my keys? So once you record, that is when you will be meeting our sales team at the sales office to do a pickup of those keys and you can then take over occupancy. When is your first payment due? The first payment will be due the first of the following month after your closing. So as an example, if you close June 15th, your first payment would be due August 1st. 
Other question could be, how do I pay my HOA? So a lot of communities will have an HOA. At closing, you would be paying the first two months up front. After the first two months, that is when the HOA company will be reaching out to you directly, sending you the bill. The Brookfield Residential Advantage. So our amazing sales team are all licensed real estate agents. They are also experts in, your, in the purchasing process of a new home, and they will guide you on to a seamless um, transition to homeownership. Another amazing advantage about Brookfield Residential is we have the Brookfield Residential app. This app is your homeowner portal. It will provide information, all information about your brand new home, including warranty items and features inside of your home. You'll also be using the Brookfield Residential app to communicate with the construction team and also check in on the construction milestones of your brand new home. So an amazing place to be is at our design studio. Um, you will be able to personalize your brand new home, again, with our included, with the options and upgrades. There's a myriad of beautiful selections there. And it does add value to have something that's truly um, uniquely yours. After your close of escrow, we don't leave you hanging. We're not a builder that would give you the keys and run from you. We offer a fit and finish warranty that is effective within one year of your close of escrow. So if any issues were to arise, you would submit a service request using your Brookfield Residential app and um, receive prompt service from our customer care team. After that one year of the finish, finish, fit and finish warranty, we do not leave you hanging. We have an extended care program. <clears throat> and what this extended care program really does is to instruct you on um, information on how to maintain your home. We wanna equip you with the know-how so that you can maintain your home from the time you receive it onward into the future. You've got questions and we have answers. So we're going to open it up for our Q&A. All righty. Uh, thank you for that, Jill and Matt. Um, I did have some questions that came through on our chat. And the first one was, what is an appraisal? So an appraisal is where an appraiser will go to the property and provide a value of the home. They're taking into account a number of factors, which would be comps within that area based upon a home similar to yours. An appraisal is always going to be required for every purchase to verify the home that you are purchasing meets that value. Excellent. Thank you, Matt. Uh, another question that came in was, can I bring my own real estate agent or should I, have, should I work with a Brookfield agent? If you're currently working with a real estate agent that referred you to one of our new home communities, yes, I would say absolutely yes. However, we do have real estate, we do have agents, our new home sales team, again, are licensed real estate agents, and they're really the experts in guiding you on through the entire purchase process of the home, and we'll keep you um, updated as we build your home and you close escrow. So you could definitely be a team there. Excellent. Thank you, Jill. Uh, next question. How much extra money should I have aside from my down payment to cover closing costs? Very good question. So the advantage of using the in-house lender with Brookfield is Brookfield does give credits towards closing costs. So that will save you money at closing. However, there's always going to be an out-of-pocket cost associated based upon taxes, insurance, days of interest, which that figure changes. And that's really going to be specifically tied to when you are closing. Um, it's really hard to confirm that exact figure. However, I'd be more than happy to help answer or kind of go over a timeline of what that number would look like. Erin, um, would you maybe be able to 
get that information down and I can follow up with the individual. Sure, absolutely. Thank you. A um, couple more coming in. We have, um, what if the appraisal amount is lower than the amount I bought for the home? Gotcha. So this is kind of a one-off question that um, we would probably have to answer offline maybe. Got it. Sounds good. Thank you, Matt. Um, they're, within, they're coming in rather quick. Uh, okay. Next one would be, what will be the benefit to work with a Brookfield agent? Like example, promotion or credit? Working with a Brookfield sales representative at the sales office is really going to ensure like a very smooth, seamless, um, you know, process of, they're going to walk you through everything from your purchase agreement, um, explain every, all the items within the purchase agreement pertaining to a new home construction. So it's, it is different um, than real estate agents that are, um, you know, out in the pre-sale market. So it's absolutely very beneficial. Now, as far as credits, we don't offer um, credits for working with our real estate agents. I mean, our sales team. So I, I'm not sure if that answers your question there. Um, However, you do receive incentives when using the in-house lender, which yes. would be beneficial towards cash to close uh, or interest rate buy downs. So there are incentives tied to that. Thank you. That is correct. Thanks, Matt. Excellent. Thank you. Um, question would be, do I need to do anything to register my agent? Yes. Real estate agents are required to personally escort you to your very first visit or model tour appointment in order to register you in person at the sales office. This is very important because the agent um, does need to be there as the referring uh, representative to the community. Great. All righty. Um... Question, what is cash to close? How much is it on a property? So your cash to close is two items. It would be the down payment percentage, which you could put as little as three and a half percent down or as much as you would like, plus your closing costs, taxes, insurance. Now remember, you do receive incentives towards closing costs, but the figures combined equal your cash to close. All righty. Um, sorry, they're, they're coming in quick, so I'm trying to keep up on this line, so bear with me. Uh, who are our preferred lenders or your preferred lenders? Correct. So Brookfield's preferred lender is BRP Home Mortgage. We've worked with them uh, intensely, and uh, we have the longstanding relationship. And the reasoning for that is Brookfield does require our product or uh, they value our product knowledge and accuracy when qualifying buyers, especially based upon the customer service that we supply to the homeowners. That is critical. All righty. Um, bear with me because we have a coming in rather quick. Um, can I put down less than 20%? Yes, you could put as little as three and a half percent down, or again, as much as you would like. Uh, there's different programs for all different down payment options. So again, there's a number of options. You do not need to put 20% down, no. Excellent. Um, all righty. Uh... Looks like that was all of the major questions that came through. Um, for those of you that have specific questions, I did reach out with uh, Matt's information that were not answered during this seminar. Um, oh, this is a good question. Jill, where are the homes or our homes? 
Absolutely. You can find our homes at brookfieldresidential.com and search by location. So in Northern California, we are currently building homes in Dublin, Brentwood, and Fairfield. So we have a variety of homes, including single family detached homes with backyards, along with attached homes. Great question. And Erin, I saw one question came through about uh, do not move funds or do not transfer funds. Can I answer that real quick? Of course you can, Matt. Yes. Gotcha. So the main item there is before you start moving funds, check with your lender first to ensure that it wouldn't cause an issue down the road. The factor that we always are going to be looking at is anytime there's a deposit going into an account, we have to source that deposit. So it's not necessarily you can't move funds. It's just making sure we can source those funds. The biggest no-no when it comes to deposits is cash deposits. All I would recommend is speaking with your lender first before moving any funds. That would be the, the takeaway. Great. Thank you, Matt. All righty. Um, any more questions from our attendees? All righty. Well, I think we are good. Thank you so much for joining us today. If you have any other questions or would like more information about our new home communities, feel free to reach out to us, Jill Wash and Matt Scalise of BRP Home Mortgage. Thank you. Oh, wait, do we have one more question? Oh, pardon me, that? yes. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Um... Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. I thought I saw one. No, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a thank good you. day. Bye.